hands on me, my father's children. Very quickly, if you will find me in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, and then we'll look at verses 6 to 8, and we'll talk a few minutes from there. And the word about God said, And David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. And David said to Abathar the priest, the Amalekite son, I pray thither, bring me hither the ephod. And Abathar brought forth thither the ephod to David. And David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue My God. after this truth? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. For the next couple of minutes, we announce my subject. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. you have without fail power. Well, let me very quickly, as we look into our text, it came to pass as David and his men returned to Ziklag. He comes back to find that the Amalekites had invaded Ziklag, burned it, took it into captivity, and uh, those men's wives and children were taken into captive. David eventually goes after God, and God gives him instructions and let him know in verse 8 that he would overtake them and without fail recover all. But let me, let me suggest to you today, beloved, that you have been set up to recover. Yes, God right. will allow situations and storms to come into your life. Some might seem difficult as David. This was shocking for him, but this pushed him to the place of seeking after God's instructions. Oftentimes we mess up and allow what we are currently suffering to raise anger in us and that uh, causes us to have a careless attitude towards God and it causes us to neglect following his instructions. Okay. David begins to realize in verse 6 that everything around him was crumbling and all of those that he was connected to did not have enough faith to speak nor see recovery that they began of speaking of killing him. Beloved, can I suggest to you tonight sometimes you need to watch all of those who are you are connected to and watch how they fall and switch away under pressure. But here is David. And he begins to encourage himself in the law of his God. Did not wait for the praise team. Did not wait for the choir director. Did not wait for the pastor. But he understood in order for this situation to get worked out, he needed to go to the one whose eyes were in every place. The Bible says in verse 8, as I now come to my close, it says that David uh, began to go after God. And he asked the question, shall I pursue? And shall I overtake them? And if you look in the text, Of the devil from he 
he stole and even in when the enemy thinks that he has you just know I have without fail power tell somebody say you have without fail power defeat is not an option quitting is not an option giving up is not an option I have somebody shot the power to overcome power to get through the situation. Very power in the blood. Tell somebody there's power in the blood. And there's power in your praise. I'm going to my seat now, but I found this one out to be sure for me. Uh, a few members of the Holy uh, joined me in 